Shield of the Sun, Tribe of Dan. They go off into Europe. Um, the Greeks turned in, the Greeks turned into Macedonians, the Macedonians into the Romans, and the Romans then, you know, the Western European nations, the monarchy came out of the Caesars, right? The sons of Dan set themselves up, graven images, and Jonathan, <coughs> the son of Gershom, son of Manasseh, and he and his sons and the priests <coughs> of the tribe of the Danites were there until the day of the captivity of the land. It was Sennacherib. Sennacherib's the one that wiped out Dan. They were transported to Kutha. As for um, the Romans, the last Roman, Roman emperor of the West, uh, the, the Latins were not Greeks. They kicked the Greeks out. The Romans set up their rule. The Western Roman Empire, uh, <coughs> the last, I mean, it fell in 410, the last actual person from the line of uh, the Latin Romans was a boy who was slain um, in, I believe, 497. All the rulers of Europe came from Sweden and Denmark, the uncivilized lands. The Franks, the Angles, the Saxons, the Jutes, um, the Germanic peoples. Uh, completely different from the Latins. And through battle and war, people like uh, Clovis and, and, and Charlemagne became rulers. These were kings. They set this up. Uh, you know, Edward the Confessor was not. And now there was um, William the Conqueror of any common blood lineage. The common blood lineage would come later when there was intermarriage. Um, hell, the Lombards were fierce pagans that came down from Sweden. People need to learn European history. I mean, or even just history at all. People talk about the Holy Roman Empire. The Holy Roman Empire was not Holy Roman or an empire. Started by Charlemagne in the year 800, had no connection with the actual Roman Empire. Um... It was Germanic, and the Germans were the used the they were the enemies, and when they were in Rome, they were slaves. Um, yeah, it, these these ideas of ruling families and all this kind of stuff. Wicked people are wicked people. Any wicked man can rise to power. I'll ask any uh, prominent drug dealer or warlord doesn't take special blood. And who is this Antichrist character? You Westerners use the Apocalypse of John. None, nobody in the East. It was only the Roman See that... It was, only, it was only the Papal See of Rome that accepted the Apocalypse if you read in church. John died in Ephesus. Um, but this Apocalypse, this, what do you call Revelation, um, there's no Antichrist in there. Um, there are many Antichrists, uh, the Bishop of Rome, or the Pope, is. I guess we can say he's an, an Antichrist, or, well, he doesn't deny that Christ came in the flesh, so I don't think we can say that. There's the false prophet and the beast, but then again, these are signs and symbols, and there is no private interpretation of Scripture. There's only one interpreter of Scripture, and that is the Church. I would implore you to look east at a church that has never changed, has been unbroken, and that does not cause violence. And that does not take anything away or add anything to um, the traditions of the apostles that were passed down by Paul and Peter and others. Um, the last possible change that you could say might have been made, and it was a small one, was 397, no, 365, I think, um, and that's it. 
So I would implore you to that and Dan, no. Um, Simki Yakubovich, his stuff. The Dan Owe. No, Dan got wiped out by Snack Rib. 